The historic Innie Wittenmeyer complex in Davenport may soon be changing hands from the city to a private developer. But what does this mean for the Davenport Junior Theater located on that property? TV6's Kyle Bales took a tour of the facility and joins us now to share the importance of the theater and what could be next for the program. Yeah, Brianna, for 45 years, the Davenport Junior Theater has supported arts for children in the Quad Cities. Next week, Davenport City Council may vote to convey the entire Annie Wittenmeyer complex over to a private developer for affordable housing, forcing the popular theater program to find a new home. I always tell kids when they're coming in, like, you're a part of a rich tradition. You're stepping into, like, it's not just you and the shows that you do at this time. You're being a part of a bigger legacy. The Davenport Junior Theater has been serving children of all ages for decades. Exposing kids to theater and arts at a young age help them improve uh, the way that they communicate with each other. It helps them improve their viewpoint of themselves, potential for their future. The Junior Theater program was started in 1951, but it wasn't until the late 70s when they found their current home. Before Junior Theater had a home, they had a show wagon and they would they would drive around to the parks and do shows in the park. So having a home really caused an evolution in the program. What started as a small program serving Davenport kids in the 80s has blossomed to 2,000 enrollments each year. And so it has become more than just a theater. It's an organization that needs space to continue. And with the city giving the Wittenmeyer complex to a private developer, the Junior Theater will need to find a new home. It is wonderful that they that they are going to allow us to use the theater longer, but for the program to survive and to operate as is without any sort of uh, interruptions in service, we need more than just a theater. Despite an uncertain future for the program, Kenneth and Daniel are still looking for a silver lining. This has been an excellent home for junior theater for 45 years, but it is an old facility. It can't be our forever home, and so we, have to look towards the future and figure out what we're going to do and how we're going to get there. Now, Davenport Alderman Kyle Grip says, quote, the city is committed to ensuring junior theater continues to operate in the city of Davenport with sufficient facilities to continue to expand their operations, unquote. We'll be following developments on this story and we'll provide updates on air and online. Now, if the council approves the resolution on Wednesday, the private developer will have one year to secure the necessary funds for the project, plus the property will need to be rezoned to allow for housing. If conditions are met, ownership will then be transferred to the developer in June of 2020.